Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back. Another video. I just wanted to go over something that I've been listening to um, this morning and then now here having my lunch. And it has to do with how we think and the words that we put out to the universe unconsciously they come back to us if if you could just for a second kind of close your eyes and just say to yourself my words do not return void my words do not return void what that means is everything that I'm putting out is going to come back to me. I know some people may call that karma, <clears throat> but it's true. You see, ancient texts have been teaching us this for thousands of years, but it's just that <clears throat> we have not been given this information. <clears throat> so you hear about things like, say, for instance, in the Bible, ask and ye shall receive. But it's not. In, in a lot of the texts in the Bible that what you and I have learned and in other religions as well but I'm just gonna speak more about the Bible in this particular video ask uh, whatever ye shall ask in my father's name you know you shall have but the the, the texts that were left out that um, have been starting to become reveal revealing to us here recently is the part of, and this ties right into what Neville Goddard teaches, anything that you ask that you feel, okay, that you already have, you are speak, you want to talk and you want to assume and you want to use the words, right? Because again, the words do not return void. I am so happy and grateful now. And whatever it is that you want to have now, you want to assume, this is what the texts talked about thousands of years ago, talked about you want to, and you shall have if you assume that you already have it, whatever it may be. So <clears throat> the opposite of that, of course, is true. If you're complaining, if you're acting and speaking, okay, your thoughts, speaking as if you're a victim or using victim as a, or victim um, language, this always happens to me. I can't believe that type of language. But the other part of this is very, very important to understand. Gossip. We have become this, we are a society that is just absolutely just oozing and dripping, addicted with gossip. And gossip is nothing more than just putting out to somebody else to cover up for our own limiting beliefs and our visions of ourself. Because, right? I mean, think about it. If we talk about somebody else, well, it takes the pressure off of us, or at least in that moment, it puts us in a elevated position, you know, relating to that other person. This is one of the things that the disciplines that I was talking about in my previous videos, we want to start to adopt this discipline of refraining from, detaching ourselves from gossiping about anybody else or anything else. Because remember, words we put out do not return void. Whatever you're talking about somebody else is going to come back to you. You only ever want to keep, keep conscious of where you are in every single moment. So if you feel yourself being um, sucked in to wanting to gossip, to wanting to talk about something or somebody else. If you feel yourself doing that and you can detach yourself from that, that's a victory. If you can, as many times throughout your day, realize, wait a minute, my words do not return void. What am I putting out? Okay. <clears throat> think of it like this if I put out a thought of I am rich I am wealthy and that's going to come back to me then how many times would you say that if someone said to you hey listen um, 
You know, if you say I am rich and I am wealthy, I don't know, let's call it a hundred times today, 500 times or, or double that, so 200 times or double it, 200 times, you're going to find the world, the universe is going to give you evidence that you are rich or, or money will come to you. See, that's the, and the fact that, and if you're even thinking about this right now, watching me saying, yeah, but I've heard about that stuff before. It doesn't work. You're right. For you, it doesn't work in your reality. Remember, words do not, do not return void. I have the perfect, most harmonious, um, loving relationship. The, the person of my dreams is waiting for me. I mean, just have fun with it. I am perfect health. This is, if you can feel that, if you can say these types of words and feel it, because again, this is what the Bible talked about, the lost um, scriptures, if you will, um, talked about with feeling. This is why what Neville Goddard talked about, assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Deny the evidence of the senses. That is what we can see, smell, taste, touch, hear, okay? Deny the evidence of the senses and assume the feeling of whatever it is that you want to have happen in your life as it's already happening. It's already here because it is. This, this world is nothing more than just a reflection of your innermost thoughts. Words and thoughts, the thoughts here come out here. Words do not return void. So everything you see in your life, every person, Every event, every circumstance, you, on some level, be it conscious or mostly unconscious, have attracted that and continue to attract that and those people into your world. So, when we start to understand this and we start to really get a grip, a grip on this, we start to become really particular about and very selective about the words we use. If you can believe this, if you can really feel that this is true for you, I'm certain you're going to start to become very selective about what words come out of your mouth. And, how, and many times throughout the day, you're going to start to catch yourself, the, catch yourself being unconscious in a moment, and then be conscious, and then say to yourself, wait a minute, what do I want to come into my life? Who do I want to be in my life? What circumstances, what type of health conditions, or whatever it may be. Do I want more of these health conditions? You and I control it all. You control everything in your life. You are the cause for everything and every person in your life. Be it conscious or unconscious. You, words do not return void. Remember this. Take this with you. Repeat it to yourself over and over again. My words do not return void may not be tomorrow, may not be an hour from now, may, may not even be next week, but they will come back to you. Understand this and understand that if I can feel it, I can have it. It will, it will materialize in my world. You can do this and things are going to happen in your life. Changes are going to start taking place in your life. Have a great day.